This video shows how to update the hardware configuration after a module has been changed out on the physical rack. This two-channel analog input module with order number 331-7KB02-AB0 is being replaced with an eight-channel analog input module with order number 331-7KF02-AB0. To begin, select your station and double-click hardware. Double-click the analog module to open its properties. If the existing module's name is different than the default, be sure to record the name. Select the Address tab. Record the existing module's address. Select the Inputs tab. Record these settings before replacing the module. Let's find the new module. Drop down Somatic 300. Drop down Signal Module 300. Drop down AI 300. Begin searching in the Analog Input 8 section for the order number 331-7KF02-0AB0. After highlighting a module, check the order number in the lower right window until you find the one you're searching for. Here is the module we're looking for. First, try to drag the new module on top of the existing module. This will copy the existing module's settings to the new module. If the module cannot be swapped, a circle with a line through it will show. In this case, you will have to delete the existing module and use your recorded data to parameterize the new module. Double-click to open the new analog module's properties. You can rename the module on the General tab. Select the Address tab. The address is the same as before, so click the Inputs tab. The first two channels, 0 and 1, have the copied settings from the existing two-channel analog module. You will need to set the parameters for the remaining six channels or inputs. You can find more information about setting the measuring type, measuring range, and interference frequency in the video setting analog module parameters. Once you have set the parameters, click OK. Save and compile the hardware configuration. Since the module has already been swapped in the hardware, we will download the configuration to the PLC. Some analog modules, such as the 8-channel input module, have to be physically configured by correctly placing jumper chips on the side of the module. You can see a demonstration of this by watching the video, Setting the Measuring Ranges of an Analog Module. This concludes the video on how to update the hardware configuration after a module change in the rack.